Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank. Today we're going to bring Etiquette Precision Tools. It's a, set, a tool set of 45 on one kit. So we're going to open it up. This one you can find for 20 under 23 bucks on Amazon. Not that bad deal. Let's see what you guys get, what's included in this kit, and if it's worth it. So let's go ahead and unlock it. First of all, a little box to give you in here. I like this part of it. Look at this. You can't lose this box. Neon orange. That's pretty much what you get. You know, all and it, it gives you a description of all the tools that are included in the back um, that you get on this kit itself. Now, this kit is made for a couple of things: iPads, iPhones, computer, precision, um, little small little details, watches, and all sorts of this different devices that you can use. So let's take a look at it and see what else you can use it for. If it's even worth it, it's a small little kit. It's under six inches, probably pretty much. Uh, it's all made in China. And we're going to open it up on this one. It's called Jake Mike or something like that. So we're going to open it up. When I first bought it, it was from Etiquette, but they changed the, I guess the company changed or something. But let's go ahead and buy it. This is pretty much like what you get on a, one of these cheap warehouses. I'm not going to mention names, but uh, the case itself, I like it. That's a plus. For me, this case, I will keep this in my car. If I'm traveling, moving around, I don't want to rip this, but I'm going to have to take it apart it gives you a description in the back of what types of tools you're going to get on here uh 47 tools in one that's pretty much what you get so but we're going to go ahead and open up and see what's included in here so first thing you get you get this nice toolkit all right everything looks nice and neat in here but I like some of the stuff that I've seen already. So on this part, this particular part is pretty neat. I like this one because actually when you're going to open a laptop, you pretty much run this. Instead of running your nails to pick up or something sharp, this pretty much rolls like a spaghetti cutter, you know, like a pizza cutter. I'm sorry, not spaghetti, pizza cutter, pretty much. You roll it out and it lifts up. Or you could use the other edge to lift it up. And these, this is very durable. I like it. This is aluminum, uh, plastic on the edges. I like that part. This is a plus. I like this part. Now, they give you other stuff too. So let's go ahead and take up the foam. Um, they give you, oh, look at this. Came, of course, apart. Now, let's find out if these are good screwdrivers. And the way I find out if they're good screwdrivers, pretty much, uh, I'm going to get the foam in here so you guys can see. And I'm going to put a, a screw in here and see if it's magnet. It doesn't magnetize. I don't like that. This is cheap material when they do that. They don't spend the time magnetizing the, the screws. They're not good to me. This is a boxer and it's magnetized and it's a smaller version that I like. But this one has no magnet. It's not magnetic. So it's if you're looking for some qu good quality tools, these are not it. Now there is a push button here and let's unlock it. You unlock it first of all. And what you do is you pretty much unlock it and they all picked up you put this back now to replace i like that part so it kind of you choose your tools your your tool that you want and then you basically just grab it and they get like i said it's 47 tools in one and we're going to look at them up over i'm not going to go into details of what type of tools but you could see the details on the description i'm set up now they do give you a suction cup in here and the suction cup is pretty much for replacing screens you know you you heat up the screens and you replace the screens now on this part is for the sim card for phones and other the different devices cd players that you had on your old pc pretty much ejected they give you two uh one of these plastic they look like guitar picks but they also do the same thing as the rolling uh, it's just pretty much for edging edging and replacing uh, or removing of a cover so that's gonna be set up in there along with this part here now this one's an extension for your screwdriver. Uh, if you want, if you don't have enough space, uh, um, you could just, you know, let me see if I could take the screwdriver out of here. There we go. Uh, screwdriver feels cheap material. It's not the greatest, and it has a head right now if it's included um, as a spare. And this is just an extension, pretty much. And, um, and on the extension, there's no safety lock or anything. It's just pretty much just place it in there. There's no safety at all to to in case if if you want to lock it in or something. Uh, it's a simple, just an extension of uh, uh for all the different heads you could actually place. You could put it in the front here, and it gives you a couple inches of extension, which is not that bad, you know. Uh, these are precise tools. They're smaller tools, so they're not made for like you know. Uh, they're not very 
you know simple to to use some of these um some of them are a little tight to spin you know they've been uh, they if the mold still has some of the cuttings or some of the mold is still sticking in with the original one uh they do give you a couple uh, screw heads um so you can re remove you can even use this to remove some of the screw heads in here this is built in. i didn't even see that a uh, grip of it um feels cheap not the greatest kit for 23 bucks you're gonna get this uh let's put this back where it belongs so i could continue on with the progress of everything now in here they give you a little exacto knife sharp of course you know it's all ready to go Whew, it's hard to remove the tweezers but that's what the little cover was for small little tweezers to give you uh let's put this back so because they're pretty sharp in here i don't want to lose that part we're going to put them back how they belong in here and it's pretty much you slide them in there there we go we slide them in there now remove the parts are are very difficult they're not that easy to remove but it's a case for traveling so it's not that bad now on this part in particular here's where we actually have this part that screws in here there's another piece of parts in here in here itself so let's open it up extra screw heads in here also some um different screw heads in here that you could take a look at it i guess they give you spare ones too also casing you want to take it along with you say you want to put this in your pocket you want to leave this whole set somewhere else you can do that um this big metal piece to remove it's like a little spatula to re actually does they all do the same to re actually open up different items it could be a phone iphone computer uh made of uh, aluminum of course screwdrivers they give you some screw heads here really tiny phillips right here um it looks like it's this is let's see if this is magnetized so let's it looks like it is magnetized so we'll put the screw in here and see if it's magnetic nope not magnetic it gives you a feeling that it was going to be because it looks like it was magnetized at one point or another or it was burned off ready getting ready to actually be magnetized but they didn't spend the time on magnetizing any of these tools this is one thing i didn't like about this tool kit it's cheap it's inexpensive but it's cheap <laughs> it's not really good made uh i don't i don't know if i would buy this i mean if you want to buy this and keep it in your car for emergencies for if you're in the it uh, it a business or replacing uh, simple hardware these are going to be simply cheap materials that's going to break apart in a couple usage uh, i don't feel like it's something for a uh, good quality made or anything like that it feels like hey these are replaceable they're inexpensive for the 23 bucks that you spend on it you're pretty much well off getting something else better and more durable uh i got the boxer tools these tools are really good i had this for many years they they're all magnetized they're all made in america too uh, they're really well mach uh, machined and, and loose on the end so sometimes when i'm looking for tools it's not this kind of tools these are pretty much cheap inexpensive tools for the road that's pretty much but good quality tools you're not going to find them in here i mean a couple items that do stand out is probably this part this is probably the most popular one um, i like about it and this is the best one i pretty much like it but other than that this whole setup if you guys like what you see if you're going to spend your money on it look it up first and this is the first first um first look on how it looks uh locks in i like the box don't get me wrong the box is freaking awesome um gives you a little small description uh what kind of warranty you're on your own warranty uh if it breaks don't call me <laughs> that's pretty much what it looks like the box itself is probably worth more than the damn tools so if you guys like what you say see make sure you guys subscribe to upgrade i'm your host frank the tank and we are out